Hello and welcome to my video. In today's video we will be going over how to set up Streamlabs OBS in 2022. So first thing you need to do is head on over to the cogwheel at the bottom left, click on login, select which one you would like to log into, whether it's Twitch, YouTube, or Facebook, which I will be using Facebook. If you're using Facebook, you need to make sure that you actually go over to Facebook and set up a separate gaming page for your Facebook account, do not use your personal page. Once you log in, you should see your screen come up like this. So over on the left hand side, we're going to go back down to the cogwheel again. Once you're in the cogwheel, you will go to output. Output, just make sure it's on simple first time starting out, and you need to set up your video bitrate. So that's the amount of upload that you have on your computer for your internet. As you can see for me, my download is 755, my upload is 934. Um, so normally they say you can go about 20% of your upload for that, which a lot of streaming services aren't going to allow you to go up that high anyways unless you're like an affiliate or partner. Um, I'll have all that information listed down below in the comment section. So once you have your bitrate set up, so for us we'll just go 4,000. Select your encoder, software 264 runs off your actual computer chip. And then if you have an NVIDIA graphics card like I do, it'll have the hardware NVENZ. So whether you want to run off your chip or if you want to run off your graphics card for the encoder. If you've got a weaker chip, you're definitely going to have to run off the graphics card and vice versa. So we'll select that. Once you're done, head on over to audio. Set up what you want for your desktop audio device. So what are you using for a headset? So for me, I'm using my Speakers FX Cloud 2 Wireless. We'll select that. Go down to mic. Same thing. Select whatever mic that you are using. Once you're on there, head over to video and you want to choose your base canvas resolution. So whether that's going to be um, 1280 or 1080p. Um, if you do not have a strong computer, I recommend just streaming in 1280 to begin with. Output scale resolution is going to be the same thing. So 1280, 1024. You might have to play around with this a little bit to um, see what your computer is going to be able to handle. And everything else you can set up exactly like I have. Once you're done, go ahead and hit the done button. Head over to where it says sources. Click on the plus sign for add new source and you want to add a either game capture or display capture. Um, if you don't want people seeing everything that you're doing on your computer at all times when you're trying to stream, I recommend doing a game capture. So go ahead and hit add source, just leave it as game capture. Um, just go ahead and do auto mode, it'll pick up any full screen game that you pull up. And then you have your choice whether or not you want to turn on your cursor or not. Once you're done with that, go ahead and head on back and then you want to add your video capture device. So this is going to be your webcam. You just leave it as that or you can name it whatever you want. And as you see, I have a USB device already connected to my computer. So once it's on, you can go ahead and just drag the squares there and adjust it any way that you would like to. Next thing you need to add is an alert box. So alert box is going to notify you when people do uh, subscribe, like, share, stars, uh, if people buy merchandise, host trade, anything like that. So um, it will just pop up in the middle of the screen. If same thing, if you don't like where it is, you can make it smaller or bigger. You can put it anywhere on your screen to try to keep it out of the way of whatever game you're doing. Once you're done, that's your basic setup there. You can go ahead and hit the go live button, type in the title of your game you're playing. If you're on uh, 
certain streaming services, you can actually put in more personal information for the description. And then you'll go ahead and search for whatever game you want to do. Hit go confirm and go live. And that is it. That's as simple as it is to set up and get a basic stream going on Stream Live for 2022. Uh, in my next video, I'll go over some more specific details. So make sure you hit that like, subscribe button, and make sure you look uh, be on the lookout for my next video. Thanks.